Hi there. If you haven't noticed, my name has changed. I finally made the switch for naming community theme, but don't fret, the content will stay the same. Formerly Stefan Ash Final Fantasy, and now Bun Boss Final Fantasy. Catch my streams on Tuesdays and Fridays to learn why. We are chatting about leveling crafter rotations from 50 to 89. We will do this based off the recommended script gear at that level, which is pretty easy to get after level 60 with collectibles. This is a continuation of my video 1 through 49 rotations that I'll link at the end of this video or in my crafter library playlist. This video is not just to get macros or learn abilities, but to actually understand the crafting so you can make your own macros or tweak macros of others to fit your needs. I have timestamps in order for you to use this as a reference video for all your crafting needs. Let's get started. Level 50 Byragot's Blessing. We finally have our fatty closer for big quality gains. Byragot's Blessing uses inner quiet stacks for a bonus to the ability, but it makes all the inner quiet stacks go away, which is why we call this our closing rotation, as you want to use this when you know you're going to max out the quality. With this, you'll find it a lot easier to get high quality on crafts than before because we can actually utilize those inner quiet stacks now. For 50 rotation, we're using the Grand Company gear, which tends to be better than the regular level 50 gear you can get from the vendors or market board, so I do recommend this gear. It is easy to get with Grand Company seals. Let's start with the Cedar Lumber, as most crafts go into two categories, materials, which have a 35 to 40 durability, and armor, weapons, accessories, which is anywhere from 75 to 80 durability. A basic rotation at level 50 with Byer God's Blessing would look something like this. Waste Not 2, Innovation, Basic Touch, Standard Touch, Times 2, Innovation, Great Strides, and Byragot's Blessing, which again uses all of our stacks on Inner Quiet, so you want to completely make sure you get 100% or very close to it. It does go without saying, but I will say it. If you notice throughout this video that you are completing certain parts of crafts quicker because of better gear or food than I reference, then feel free to experiment with omitting a step or adding a step to see where you land. Now, the one trick that all new crafters should use is making sure you have crafter food going. I went with blood tomato salad and it is so cheap and it gives an extra 22 CP. There are better ones out there, but it all kind of depends on how much gill you have at this portion of leveling. So I just chose this one because it was the cheapest that I found like really quickly. Keep in mind, the more CP, the more abilities you can use. Let's do the same thing with the Cedar Crook, which is going to be a tad more difficult, but the same item level. We use Waste Not 2, Innovation, Basic Touch, Standard Touch, Times 2, Innovation again, Basic Touch, Standard Touch, Great Strides, Byra God's Blessing, Veneration, and Basic Synthesis to completion. You suddenly want to make sure for the closer you have enough CP to perform it, which costs 56 CP between Great Strides and Biograt's Blessing. So if you get near the end and don't have the CP, you can really hurt your chances of completing the craft altogether. Durability is less of an issue as we get into higher leveling. Level 53, Precise Touch. Doesn't really change our rotation at this point. You're just using Precise Touch whenever you get a good or excellent condition change, which will give you a bonus in our quiet stack, which means you'll reach max stacks quicker and or you'll also be saving on CP. So you always want to use Precise Touch where you can when in the quality building phase. Level 54, Muscle Memory. This is a little more of a niche ability for me personally and only makes its way into my late game crafter rotations and not really into these levels. Essentially, it's a huge progress buff, but I'd rather work on quality first as it tends to be more difficult, and I'm just far more comfortable with doing the rotation that way. Let's move on to one of the more used abilities that becomes pretty essential, and that is careful synthesis. You want to replace basic synthesis with this as it's finished more of your progress bar for a measly 7 CP. No rotation change, just switching out the basic synthesis for careful synthesis. We also have a gear change here at level 60, which is white scripts gear, the mill keeps that you can get, but they are class specific at level 60. So you'll need the carpenter mill keeps gear for the carpenter, the blacksmith mill keeps gear for the blacksmith. This is the only tier where it kind of sucks and you have to get multiple gears for crafters. Level 65. We have now gotten to the pinnacle of the crafter rotation and everything is going to change here. Manipulation is the best ability in the world and you'll be basing everything off this. It's a job quest so you will need to do your job quest up to this level in order to unlock this ability. It allows you to recoup 5 durability from actions essentially cutting the durability cost in half. If basic synthesis costs 10 durability to use it now costs 5. But wait, there's more. If you pair this with Waste Not 1 or 2, that reduces the loss of durability by 50%. You can essentially cancel out the 10 costing durability costs for a short while with both buffs up. 
but not without an enormous cost of 194 CP for the both abilities. So I would say at this point, you always need some sort of food for CP active for those precious CP points. With the pine fishing rod example, I'm only using manipulation as you can see and still complete the craft pretty damn easily. This is just to show you as you can see basic touch and standard touch only make the craft's durability go down by 5 instead of the usual 10. You will need food with the CP benefits for this rotation though. Now this is a pretty standard rotation from here on out, but there is another way you can do this which can be hard to understand for new crafters. There are multiple ways to reach the end, wholly dependent on stats and CP, and our brand new ability at level 66, Prudent Touch. This increases quality at half the durability cost, cannot be used when waste not 1 or 2 is active. The rotation would look like this, Prudent Touch, again a placeholder, Manipulation, Innovation, Prudent Touch times 4, Innovation, Prudent Touch times 2, Great Strides, and Byragod's Blessing, Veneration, and Careful Synthesis to Completion. As you can see, we finished this craft with relative ease, so just choose your own adventure and what you have the CP for. I personally like this second one, but I would still use food just for any oopsies or to increase the efficacy of the touch actions like Prudent Touch, so maybe you can cut one out. Level 67 and 68 abilities focus synthesis and focus touch. I rarely ever use these as it requires the use of the ability observe beforehand to make worth your wild. This can be very helpful in niche instances where you need to skip a poor condition after an excellent condition during your quality building phase, but I wouldn't worry too much about it at this point. It has far better use in expert recipes at level 90 and above. Level 69 ability is our opening ability that I have a placeholder for in our earlier rotation. Reflect allows you to start out with two inner quiet stacks instead of one and can only be used on your first step. A huge boost to your quality building phase. You just put Reflect in where we had placeholders before as your very first ability used in the rotation. Moving on to level 70 to 80, this is where we get a new gear upgrade with white scripts and again it's easy to get with just turning in some collectibles or doing your custom deliveries. Also make sure to hit that like button if you made it this far and enjoy the content, really helps with the YouTube algorithm. We have the most amazing and my most used ability preparatory touch. This is used a lot for lower level recipes and same level recipes. It gives you an extra stack of inner quiet for a big cost of 20 durability and 40 CP. For those following along, you might have put two and two together already. We use this most with Waste Not 2 and Manipulation. As when both of these buffs are active, this will only cost 5 durability and 40 CP. And with our new upgraded gear, as well as upgrading your food, I recommend the Side 2 Venu, which gives you quite a lot more CP and control to make crafting a little bit easier. We can use this ability to its fullest extent. Let's start with the White Ash Bracelet level 75. Rotation will look like this. Reflect, Manipulation, Waste Not 2, Innovation, Preparatory Touch times 2, Great Strides, Byragot's Blessing, and I'm going to stop you right here. You saw how incredibly quick we completed that craft. Not only is Preparatory Touch a strong quality building ability, but the extra stacks of Inner Quiet get you to 8 way faster than before in less time. So when we get into our closer, we already have more than enough to start with, which is why we didn't do a full rotation. The goal of any craft is to get quality far enough and inner quiet high enough to finish it with your closer of Great Shrides and Byer God's Blessing. You do not have to do the full rotation to complete a craft all the time. If your stats are better, you can shorten the way I did just now. This is with the scripts gear, so everyone can use this rotation. This also goes for our next ability, Groundwork. Essentially replaces careful synthesis at the end of our craft. Some might be hesitant since it also costs 20 durability like preparatory touch, but we have durability to spare. You would not reuse waste knot or manipulation. For one, you won't have the CP at the end of your craft, and two, durability doesn't matter as long as you finish the craft. So even if your last ability would break the craft, but it completes the progress, you've still completed it. Groundwork also greatly increases progress, so you'll need less of it, especially under a veneration buff, which is a buff that increases progress abilities. You essentially would only need two, maybe two careful synthesis, as you can see here with this Lugnum Vitae bracelet. 
From here on out, the rest of the abilities do not change our rotation at all, so we will cover them and I'll teach you what they mean how to use them effectively. Delicate Synthesis. I personally don't use this ability too much, but there are macros out there on TeenCraft that will use it. I skip over it though. Intensive Synthesis. Really good for when you have a good or excellent condition during your end phase of progress building. Remember that good or excellent conditions do not affect your progress bar with the buff only your quality bar, but this ability, Intensive Synthesis, is only active during those conditions of good or excellent. Trained Eye, the best ability hands down for recipes 10 levels and lower. It essentially streamlines lower level recipes for you. Some complain it makes crafting too easy, to which I say, you should just be doing expert and endgame crafting then. This is just to get rid of all those necessary steps of crafting for recipes way below your level. And you can finally make your first macro. I would name it 10 level lower or something like that in order to know when you can use it. I have put all the rotations and macros into a spreadsheet from this video for your viewing pleasure. Advanced touch essentially is used for more end game stuff. So you would use this in your rotation for basic touch and standard touch. But I rarely have to use this for any crafting recipes other than current master or maybe expert. Most times preparatory touch is just way easier and faster. Prudent Synthesis. Never have I used this in any casual or expert crafting, so I won't even have to worry about using this ability. Increases progress for half of the durability cost. Lastly, Trained Finesse. Great for endgame crafts, increases quality at no cost to durability, but as you can see, it costs a hefty 32 CP, so it's just a little bit more niche, and you will see it in some crafting rotations on TeamCraft. And that is essentially his crafting from 65 to 89. Now, as you can see, I did not include current endgame crafting at level 90 because I really think about doing a video for level 90 crafting and all subsequent crafting levels as they come out. So let me know if that is something you'd be interested in. If you got any value out of this video, please consider liking and subbing. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and me realizing my dream of being a full-time content creator. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, then you can click here.